But yes, we do have the chance tonight. And guess what? Mother mm. Nature is going to be cooperating. Right. So awesome. we actually had a couple photos coming in earlier this week that we saw the Northern Lights a couple days ago in some portions of Chicagoland. If you miss that, you do have another chance tonight. And it's it's looking like yeah. it could be a good one. Good. So I'm excited. It's a sight yeah. to behold. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I still have yet so to see pretty. it. I've, I've been here the last time that it's happened. Let's take a look at the latest drought monitor that came out this morning. And we still have abnormally dry conditions from the Chicago area down into southern Cook County through Will County and into western Kankakee County. But everywhere else, you can see that tan shading there. That is a moderate drought. So a good portion of the area has actually been upgraded with those drought conditions. So unfortunately, we're really not moving in the right direction here. We do have some showers in your forecast over the upcoming weekend, but it's not going to be a soaker like what we could really use. It's just going to be scattered rain showers being possible, mainly on Saturday, a couple isolated showers on Sunday, but the majority of your weekend actually does look mainly dry. Now your high temperatures out there today, gorgeous. We are above average, lower 70s for a lot of us. We made it to 77 degrees in LaSalle, 72 in Gary, same thing in Merrillville, 74 in Rensselaer, 72 in Valparaiso, 67 in Waukegan, we hit 74 degrees in Aurora and over the next couple of days tomorrow's very much going to be our warmest day that we see for quite some time 83 degrees expected tomorrow enjoy that summer like warmth while it's here because notice over the weekend we have a really big cool down we have a cold front that's going to come through Friday night and then that's going to be dropping our temperatures into the 60s Saturday and Sunday and then do you see Monday and Tuesday? It is really going to be feeling like fall around here with high temperatures that are going to be below average, only in the mid 50s. We're taking a look now at what is left of Milton. So this is now post tropical cyclone Milton. We still have 70 mile per hour winds with it though and gusts 85 miles per hour. Fortunately, it's moving out to sea. So it's not going to be causing major issues for anywhere else in the US and taking a look at the latest power outages. So most areas in Florida are still dealing with those scattered power outages and they are around 3 million folks in the dark and it's going to take a long time to restore that power. So future cast taking us throughout the evening, the overnight hours here at home, quiet conditions. We still have high pressure and control. Temperatures tonight going to be dropping down into the 40s in the suburbs. In the city, we're dropping down into the 50s. And then through the day tomorrow, we're going to see this cold front advancing toward the area. But you'll see that there's really not much in the way of moisture associated with that. So it's coming through maybe a couple clouds. That's really about it. But you're really going to notice that we have that northerly wind flow developing over the weekend. So that's drawing in that cooler air out of the north. We're going to have a few clouds rolling in Saturday morning and then possibly scattered rain showers being possible during the afternoon hours of Saturday into Saturday night. And then lingering shower chances are still going to be around into Sunday. Tonight, of course, we do have that chance of seeing the northern lights. We're going to be dropping down to about 54 degrees in the city. Suburbs dropping down into the 40s. And of course, the suburbs are going to have a better chance of seeing the northern lights just because you're further away from the light pollution of Chicago. So just try to catch a glimpse if you can. Seven day forecast tomorrow, 83. We're in the 60s over the weekend. Scattered shower chances. Chicago marathon weather looks great. We'll wake up in the 50s and warm into the mid 60s during the afternoon. Keep it here. We have more local news coming up.